Hi everyone, Jan here, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to make another type of tag which is really popular actually at the moment and that is um, a bookmark and I'm going to put them, show you how to put it on a card. Um, it's a very popular little gift at the moment. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll make this. So the last card I made had, um, hold on, let me just show you had a, a tag on the front of the card um, and this one is also going to be on the front but it's a different type okay so I uh, just want to show you first my new little vellum poinsettias that I was making yesterday and they didn't dry in time I'm afraid for me to do this this video yesterday but um, so anyway I'm doing it today but um, yeah so basically I've cut out very similar poinsettias layered them up um cut the little bits of foliage in vellum as well I used a, a thicker vellum for that and the flowers i've used a patterned vellum but the thing i really wanted to say to you is is that um for you, those of you who like shimmer sprays and um you know shimmery finishes this is a cheaper way to do it than buying the shimmer um sprays this is uh, Windsor and Newton watercolour iridescent medium and what it's for actually is for mixing with watercolour paints if you're an artist and it makes them pearlized but if you paint it on straight from the bottle give it a really good shake because all the mica powder goes to the bottom you give it a really good shake and just paint it on as it is you get a really beautiful finish on anything that you do now let me see if I can hold this one up quite close to the camera hold on where is the camera up that end now, i don't know if you can see it but it is really really pretty and it comes out you know it will make anything that you paint it onto pearlized so if you painted it on red card or green or whatever even on black black it looks really beautiful and navy blue but on vellum it also is really gorgeous so um, and it's so much cheaper than buying mica sprays or anything like that because all you do is you just put a little tiny drop of this in a little bottle top it up with water and use it as your spray i must have had this bottle here 10 years plus and i'm nowhere near through it i'm about i'm here on the bottle and i think when I bought it, it was a couple of pounds. So supposing it's three pounds now, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's just a little tip for you. So I've been making these vellum flowers because I wanted to use these on today's card. Um, <clears throat> so let's just pop these out of the way. These are all a bit bigger than the other ones that I've been making. So this is the equivalent of the white ones. And these are a bit bigger okay so um again if you want to get if you want to buy one of my packs these are the sorts of things that will be included in it so that you can make your own i mean i'm selling them as embellishments so you can make whatever you want with them really um stack them up etc do whatever you like but today i'm going to try and use them on this card now for this bookmark card i'm going back to my um slimline cards now let me just move some of this stuff off of here and i'll talk you through what i've used and you know sort of how i've used it so today's basic card is the slimline card and that is three and a half by eight i think let me just make sure and measure it yeah three and a half by eight so you want a piece of card, seven by eight, score it down the middle, fold it in half. <coughs> and the backing, background paper that I'm using is nice and bright. And this is um, three and a quarter, I believe. Yeah, three and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And I'm just going to stick that down to there. In fact, um, it's a shame I haven't done it already, but I'm just about to do it. So let me find my glue. There it is. And we just quickly get this adhered down. I, 
I am absolutely loving this tartan paper and all the papers from this particular pad. Um, I'm still using the same pad. As I said last time, I just about ran out of the three sheets of paper that I started using. So this is a separate sheet of paper. But, however, apart from making my topper from my packaging, this is probably the last of these pattern that I'm going to do. I think I might need to do some sort of birthday cards or something like that and show you how I adapt the toppers for that. So let's just get this stuck down. I'm very shaky this morning, so you have to bear with me. Right, hold on. Let's get this lined up. There we go. That's about straight. Certainly straight enough. Anyway, I'm going to apologise in, in advance in case you hear my dogs barking. I've got the door open and they like to sit with me in the room, but they do bark if the postman comes or anything. Right, so for this card, I'm going to put a pocket on the front and I had enough from this strip to be able to cut the pocket that actually matches. You see, it kind of lines up on here, but that's per it doesn't matter if it doesn't match for you. So how this would normally come in a pack is that I would include the pocket and it would have a backing on it so that you stick the backing onto your card. But for this one, the purposes of this one, I don't need a backing because I've got the card here. So all I'm going to do in order to stick this down is just run a bead of glue all the way around the outside. This card is simplicity itself and it's just about using the embellishments to build up sort of um, a piece of artwork because that's what these sort of cards are actually a piece of artwork um yeah so i'm hoping the lighting's a bit better this morning because as i say this is an more in the morning that i'm doing this as opposed to in the evening when normally I get stuck with doing it. Right, let's just line this up. Make sure it fits okay. There we go. And these are, I mean, you can make these for anything. You can use, you know, make your own bookmarks and use these for anything. And they, you know, they're the quickest possible card that you could imagine to make. All of the cards are actually, once you've got the embellishment there. So today I'm going to use this little um, sentiment and I have backed it onto some white, spare white card, um, just to make it a bit brighter than the background. So I'm just going to stick that down. Um, first of all, I'm going to pop something in here so that I can actually see where, you know, where the card finishes. You can put this on a piece of foam tape or raise it up if you want to. I'm just going to stick mine flat down today. I hope um, you are finding these um, video tutorial well not tutorials but show and show showy videos whatever you want to call it show and tell show and join in whatever I hope you're finding them useful um, and hopefully you'll try some of these techniques yourself or similarly if you want to you can always purchase the pack of embellishments from me so that you can make your own Right, so that's that. So let's put that aside to dry. The next thing I'm going to do is to make up the bookmark. Let's have various bits and pieces. And the bookmark is, let me tell you, it is uh, seven inches by one and three quarter inches is the background. Um, I think actually I might round the corners on this if I can find my corner rounder. Um, just to give it that extra additional sort of professional look. Uh, 
Okay, let's pop that in there. She says, this is a new, oh, still got the thing on it. This is a new one that I've just bought because I've absolutely worn my other one into a frazzle. Come on. Oh, something goes wrong, doesn't it? There we go, that's better. Didn't want to cut. And this isn't very thick card. I've not gone over the top with it. Um, I was going to use 300 gram, but I didn't have any pieces and I do like to recycle everything that I can. Recycle and use up all my bits and pieces. That's not a very neat corner. Pop that back in. That's better. I guess this new one needs a bit of sort of using to break it in. There we go. Right, let's get rid of all these little bits and pieces. And I'm going to stick this down to here. That gives it a bit of double thickness and um, a bit of pattern. I like to keep a border around the outside of everything because I just think it's it really enhances the pattern. But I've kept a very small border, so the mat I've cut here is looks like about an eighth of an inch smaller or so that i've got like a sixteenth all the way around so let's just measure this just to make absolutely certain yeah this is six and seven eighths by one and five eighths so yeah one eighth and an inch smaller than the bookmark you can make the bookmark any size you like actually if you want a thicker one um, a thinner one but just make the mat eighth of an inch smaller than the actual bookmark itself so let's stick all the way around there and stick this down I have to be quite careful with this because it's such a small border no rushing this one There we go. There we go. That's nice. Right now, um, oh, I'm supposed to go that way up. <laughs> Never mind. Um, right. Okay. Good job. I noticed before I put the hole in it. Right. So now I'm just going to punch a hole. I'm going to use that Christmas cracker punch, hole punch again. And usually I measure it. So I'll turn it over on the back and measure halfway across. Today, for speed, I am just going to do it by eye, and I think that's about it. So I'm going to make a hole in the top, she says. There we go. Now, normally, I would put um, an eyelet in there, but I don't know if I have an eyelet that's going to fit it so this morning i'm just going to leave it as it is but normally i would put an eyelet in there let's put some lid on my glue bottle as you can see i'm trying to keep my video as short as possibly can they keep coming out around three quarters of an hour to an hour right so the other thing i did this morning is to make a little tassel to go in the top and um yeah so um the way that i did this was i just got some embroidery thread these two colors that reflect this and i doubled them up i wound them round my fingers i think i did three fingers yeah three fingers wound it round 10 times and then before i cut the loops i tied a piece in the top and then i tied a piece round at the top like that and then I just got the scissors and trimmed up the base to however long you know you want it and then fluff it up a bit 
So nice Christmassy colours and I'm just going to actually thread this through here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to thread it through from this side. So let's get it opened up. Let's pop that on there and I might tie it a bit tighter, I'm not sure. I'll have a little look in a minute when it's gone through. It might need to be a little bit. Oops, <laughs> not having much luck this morning. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> that Calamity Jane videos these are, honestly, what with yesterday's. Right, come on, behave yourself. Go through there, all of you. No hangers on, no hangers back. And thread that through there. Um, it's, not, it's not too bad. I mean, I might tie it off a little bit shorter. We'll see what happens. Right, now then, so we go back to this. <coughs> and now comes the decor decoration part with the, um, with the embellishment toppers. So obviously, the... Um, Bookmark is going to fit into the card and you can put it where you want. You can put it on one side or you can put it, let's move that round a bit. You can put it on one side or you can put it sort of, you know, in the middle, wherever you want it really. Let's try the middle and put that down the side. I'm not happy with that knot there, so I'm going to alter that in a moment. Okay, but anyway, that's like that. Right, okay, so now, if you remember, I told you about all these little strips I've got left over, and um, I've cut quite a few of them into fish towel shapes, as I said, on the end, because I want to use up all my scraps. And I then clustered a few together, like that, and I have stuck them together. Now I've also trimmed them down because I've put this, you know, sort of measured it as to how far it will, needs to go. But my thoughts are that I'm going to put one of these little um, things, <laughs> rosettes, <laughs> on here, on the card. And... I'm going to put some of these sort of at an angle like that. So I, so I kind of measured how far they would need to come. And then on top, I'm either going to put, um, I thought about one of these little doilies that I've cut out. So I thought I might put that on jazz it up a bit it's all going to add a lot of dimension to it though so obviously this card will probably need a, a box as opposed to um you know like an envelope or something and then on top of that i thought i would put one of my vellum my little vellum um poinsettias like that or alternatively Let's find my tweezers. I could put the poinsettia on here on the bookmark and put one of these on here. So it just depends on what we think looks better. This is flatter than this. So that adds a lot of dimension and that is flatter so it won't interfere with, you know, putting it in the book, which might be the best idea. Like that, which is actually quite nice. It doesn't matter if it sticks off the edges, although what I'll try and do is get it to go so that it doesn't. So I'll try and position it so that it doesn't stick over the edges or similarly we can cut these odd leaves off here that might be an idea but yeah I quite like that and it doesn't matter how tall it is and or let's try turning it round so this is all about the process so that would go on there like that 
whichever way it looks as if that leaf needs to come off no matter what I do with it because it's just too wide it sticks over although maybe I'll leave it and then see if it will see what happens if it goes in a book so basically you can do this with it and that's your tassel hanging down or like I said the other way round so this bit goes on here, in which case it doesn't matter. And that gives you a bit of um, height on your bookmark so that when you when you put the bookmark in, it will, that presumably will stay out of the top of the book. So, I mean, if I stuck it down to here and left this free, this would hang over the page. Um just depends what you're you know what you like best so I mean I quite like that that doesn't involve any cutting at all but I also quite like that because again I'd probably stick it to just here and that could go over the page and that can go down there so I think what I'm actually going to do is just think about it for a moment. So let's put this down first. So my first job really is to get this stuck to this. And I'm going to use my three in one glue for this just simply because it's thicker. It bonds up quicker. Hold on, let's get it going. It only needs a little bit in the middle because it's only got to stick to that bit. It's only got to stick to that bit. Right, let's put this on here. Stick that down. Press it down for a moment or two until it sticks together, starts to hold. And, um, yeah, with these, like I say, I just kind of arranged a few in different lengths, different colours. I wanted to add some white into it because otherwise I think you can't really see it very well. So, yeah, I did that and I'm just going to kind of stick that down. I stuck them all layer by layer at the back. I'm going to stick that down to there. Put this rosette on the top, about there. So let's get this popped down. Whereas if you had this rosette already made up with these ribbons, which you would get in a you know in the pack from me if you were buying them from me, um, you wouldn't. There wouldn't be too much. For you to do you just get a rosette out pop it on done my dog's come over to have a little look and a little sniff and see what's going on see if it's anything of any interest to him <laughs> he's gone back to bed now but like i say excuse him if he starts barking at the postman or something so a bit more glue on here i like to put quite a thick layer on actually I hope you liked um, the card. It wasn't yesterday, actually. It was um, a couple of days ago because I was doing these um, vellum flowers yesterday and I thought they would dry and they didn't. It was a bit humid here, so they didn't dry. So I'm just going to hold that down. And I think I will go for this on here and this on here because I just think that looks really, really nice. But either way, you could do either way. So yeah, let's pop this on here. And because you've got the backing, it's very easy to stick down. Just some nice strong glue. You could use a glue gun if you wanted to. I've got mine plugged in, but it's behind me and I haven't got a a lead long enough to bring it to the table here so yeah I'm just going to pop these on 
As you can see, the layers make it very attractive. I used some stickles on here. Layered this up with green as well as gold. And because you've got several layers of vellum, it's absolutely fine to just put the glue on. Come on. Oops, strings attached to it. And I'm just going to pop this on. And by sticking it only in the middle, it leaves it free underneath. If you want to pop, you know, pop it sort of on a page and it overhangs that page. Okay. Oh, let's turn that round just a little bit because I don't want it catching on that tassel. Um, the other thing I quite often make are beaded tassels and I have one here which I could certainly attach to it. Um, I put them on these bulb pins and all it is is basically I've threaded a few beads that match the colours. I've put a little heart on it just as an extra charm, hung them onto a jump ring and then I've put them on a, a bulb pin. So let me just open this bulb pin if I can. I mean, this is just an afterthought. I hadn't thought about doing this, but there we go. They're so useful, these bulb pins. Right, and I am going to take the bookmark out and pop the bulb pin in the top like that. Do it up. So if you have sort of some time spare one day or you know um, you could just make up some dingly dangly bits like this and just have them oh come on <sighs> please it's so frustrating when you've got shaky hands like me there we go, except it's the wrong way round. But yeah, there we go, you get the idea. You've got your tassel, lift this up a moment. Got your tassel, you've got your bulb pin that doesn't want to behave itself. But anyway, yeah, so you have your little bits and pieces hanging on there. Pop that back in there. Fluff up my little poinsettia. And there we go. I think the tassel's getting in the way, actually. It's not behaving itself, but I'll probably rehang it when, um, when I'm off camera. But yeah, so there we go. A little dingly dangly. And uh, that is another way of using a decorated tag. Is to keep all your decoration at the top. Put other decoration that you want to do, the bigger decoration at the, on the actual card itself. Keep most of the um, bookmark tag free. And then because it's white on the back, you could write a little message or you can just, you know, keep your message to inside. OK, I hope you found that quite useful as an idea. Um, please like and share the videos if you can because it gets me noticed on YouTube and um, yeah I do you know post in the comments anything that you want to say I'll try and get back to everybody when I notice that there's a comment there and um, pop on over to my group as well um, see you soon bye <laughs>